You're standing in front of one of the largest predators to ever walk the earth, a Tyrannosaurus rex. Who was uh, one of the biggest T Rexes, probably the second biggest T Rex ever found? 42 feet long, 14 feet tall, would have weighed around probably nine tons in life. That's nearly 20,000 pounds. Sue was a heavy hitter back in the day, and even 60 million years later, Sue is widely known as one of the most famous T Rexes in the world. Sue was the most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex ever found to date. Uh, around 80% complete by bone count, uh, just missing a few odds and ends, the tip of the tail, a few hand bones, things like that. Get transported back in time to see the story told through Sue's eyes, or should I say bones? The exhibit focuses on the skeleton, but it tells the story of the animal. Sue, a day in the life. Hot. Sue was one of the oldest T-Rexes ever found, meaning that it was well over 30 years old when it died. Um, how do we know this? Uh, Sue's skeleton was just chock full of injuries, which we can see and you'll hear this really cool audio-visual presentation that tells you about all these injuries, infections and parasites. This jaw infection may have made it so painful to eat that Sue eventually starved. Sue, the T-Rex experience features a full-scale cast of Sue, as well as a full-size fleshed-out replica. Sights and sounds will surround the exhibit with a chance to get hands-on, touching the texture of dinosaur skin, and if you're brave enough, taking a whiff of Sue's breath. Oh, oh my God. With so many things to take away, director Scott Williams hopes that people will leave the exhibit with a greater understanding of Earth's history. We live on the planet Earth. Earth has a big, long story. This is one little snippet of it, and hopefully it gets you to think bro more broadly about everything that goes on in the planet, things that go on with the animals that live today, things that go on with our environment, and then apply some of these things to when Sue was around. Yeah, it's basically a broader look at Earth history and that uh, we're one small chapter in a big volume.